everyone. Thanks for joining me this week for our next crafting project. So this week we are going to be making a sun capture that you can hang in your window to really get some color and some of the light in your room. Um, but in keeping with February, uh, we just had Valentine's Day, so we are going to be making it in the shape of a heart. So with that, we're just going to use some cardstock paper. Um, we're gonna use some black to kind of highlight the difference between the colors that we're going to use. We're gonna have some crayons that we are going to use a, a sharpener for, um, some uh, parchment paper and some scissors. And uh, this one will need a little bit of a parental or some older sibling help um, with, uh, we are going to be ironing on top of the parchment paper so we, we can melt the crayons to get that nice bright color. So with that, let's get crafty. All right, so to get started for this project, we're going to just take a box of crayons and I'm just gonna use a couple different colors. So I think I'm gonna use this uh, red violet, maybe I'll do red and purple, yeah. Um, and so what we're gonna do, I have, um, if you're staying in the house, you've been given a pencil sharpener that also is able to sharpen crayons. And I'm just gonna remove a chunk of the paper because what we're gonna do is we're gonna use, uh, we're gonna sharpen them even though they all should be ready to go. Um, and we're gonna use the uh, sharpenings that are gonna be inside here uh, for our project. So I'm just gonna do that with some of, with our crayons until I get a fair amount of uh, shavings to be able to do what we wanna do next. Um, so what we're going to do next is we're going to take our parchment paper and cut it in half, um, whatever, or just, you know, have uh, two relatively si similar sized shapes or pieces, and then we are going to uh, melt the uh, crayons in between it, and then we are going to do the final shaping later on. Alright, so now we're going to, uh, this is going to be the part where you might need some help. So I'm going to take my shavings and kind of sprinkle them um, on my parchment paper. If it helps while you're doing it, you should uh, put something that doesn't roll, but like something that has a little bit of wait just to hold down your parchment paper while you are making your design on it. Um, so I'm going to try to have just, you know, some colors about, all right? And then you're gonna take your other uh, part of your parchment paper and put it on top. And this is where you're probably gonna need some help. Um, you're just gonna wanna uh, make sure you have an iron uh, set on the low setting and then just use it on the parchment paper to um, melt the crayons. It should do work pretty easy. So you wanna keep it not hot. And then you're gonna to wanna to let that cool completely. All right, while your uh, crayons that you just melted with the iron is cooling, we're just gonna do a little trace outline on our black paper of a heart and I know it's really tough to see because I you know just have black marker on black paper slightly smaller heart inside it just so we are going to create a border for our eventual sun catcher so I'm just going to and then we're gonna cut out the heart and then we're gonna cut out the middle part as well all right so we have our what is gonna be our outline and then we're just gonna take our parchment paper and then when you separate it, it could probably look, should look like that. So we're not gonna use all of this. It's just kind of like our melted crayon. So we're gonna do a kind of little cut around the parchment paper. Keep it kind of around the shape and then you would be able to tape it to your outline. Um, I should have made it a little bit more like 
bigger, the heart or the crayon, but I'm just gonna use some washi tape to kind of tape down the edges. And then when you flip it over, you can hang it in your, your window and then you can catch the light shining through and it should give some pretty cool color effects from the melted crayon. So I hope you enjoy this project and please share whatever you are working on.